Char Fur, I think this is Charlene. After doing the blacks and white, what to do next? Now, what that means is this. If I take my Lightroom in to develop, basic, black and white is, and I'm assuming, uh, Charlene, this is what you're asking, is I can do blacks and white points, which takes me from there to there. So it punches the image, yes? Once I've done that, often, that's enough. Set your black point, set your white point, because theory says to us that you can have an image where there's pure black and pure white. Lightroom will then be able to adjust and compute, if you will, all the color scales in between naturally as well. So, often black and white is the only thing you need to do, but then you, and it's up to you, I can't answer this for you, what do you want to do with this? Now that the tonal range is set, more saturation, more clarity, which is edge contrast, do you want to make the whole thing brighter or darker? Black and white points for me is a starting point to get it to a certain place and then start working from there. Again, there is previous videos, go and watch those, good starting point for you on the black and white points. Next question.